What up, bros? Joe Mamoos, the kicks mo to. And today we have uh, basketball shoes. So, ito, um, hindi ko pa rin alam kung ano yung official na tawag dito. Well, hindi official kung ano yung pwedeng tawag dito sa kicks na to. Pero ang nakalagay sa box niya ay ang uh, Anta Outdoor NBA Basketball Shoes. So, that, yun yung description niya sa China. Yung sa box na kasama nito nakalagay lang NBA, ah, uh, sorry, hindi NBA, um, Outdoor Basketball Shoes. So, um, Binili ko to sa SM kasi medyo nagustuhan ko yung design niya and nagulat ako dun sa materials niya which we'll uh, get on to later dito sa review natin. But um, basically, it's an outdoor shoe uh, made from a Ch from the Chinese brand Anta and uh, I think it's a very good option pag naglalaro kayo mostly outdoor. So, check natin. Okay, as usual, let's go to the traction. So, yung traction niya uh, is a very similar traction dun sa nakita natin sa KT Outdoor yung uh, ito yung outdoor shoe na kasabay na lumabas nung KT2 ni Clay Thompson sa Anta so um, very similar traction very similar sole uh, makikita natin herringbone siya na aggressive na malalim yung grooves at makapal so definitely an outdoor model um, actually it works uh, both well, both uh, well on indoor and outdoor courts uh, maganda sa ganito kakapal na ano na type ng traction eh hindi talaga may ipit yung dust um, dust was never a factor para dito sa kicks na to tapos um, well good enough yung ano niya yung material ng rubber niya to also work uh, on indoor courts kasi sa indoor naman um, mas importante uh, aside from yung traction pattern also yung compound nung uh, sa, nung rubber nung out nung uh, outsole ng shoe so um, it actually worked well uh, indoor as well so uh, very recommended shoe if you're looking for good traction uh, both indoor and outdoor okay so next we have our um, cushioning so uh, with this particular shoe or, or yung mga katulad niya they use an ashak uh, type of technology so it's basically a um a foam na medyo dense ng konte but it still provides ample cushioning um of course if you've been using um other technology like um, boost or zoom or air or yung mga mas malalambot ng konte you would feel na this won't play up to par kasi medyo matigas siya well it would actually remind you uh kung gagamitin mo siya it would remind you of um yung bounce na medyo mas matigas ng konte kasi that's how it actually felt for me yung kasi yung bounce ng Adidas um meron siyang mga meron siyang shoes na medyo malambot yung pakiramdam niya uh, and meron din yung mga mas stiff ng konte so um with my experience this was a little bit on the stiff side um if you can see here dito sa uh, midsole niya meron tayong mga groups to help support yung ano yung compression ng shoes but generally uh, knowing yung price point saka uh, how anta developed this as an outdoor shoe it is a little bit uh, stiff and um, for those of you who are looking for more cushioning or more support in terms of para sa tuhod nyo sa mga landings and stuff um, you might not you might not really want to go with this because it it does uh, it doesn't offer you much um, cushioning in terms of kung gusto niyo ng talagang bouncy niya bouncy siya but responsiveness is actually okay and ako i personally like um, playing in these kicks indoor ka sa wood kasi mas less yung impact niya sa uh, tuhod ko but if you're gonna try to use it outdoor and medyo nasa edad ka na uh, this might not be a good um, pair for you Okay, next we have our materials. So, sa materials nito, uh, I was actually surprised to see na medyo parang uh, woven and jacquard yung upper niya. Um, it's a little bit more stiff than of course yung dun sa mga bigger brands natin like Nike and Adidas. But it is actually, it actually feels very good on foot. Malambot siya. And also, um, nag-shape uh, nag siya dun sa paa natin. So... Yun yung isang magandang uh, meron dito sa shoes na to. Uh, maganda yung materials niya. Um, if may kita mo, meron kang parang um, 
leather uh, synthetic leather sa heel for a little bit more of uh, design but generally uh, what struck me most was yung uh, parang woven type na material natin sa ibabaw yun nga lang um, hindi siya ganun ka well ventilated uh, even yung sa tang natin konti lang yung ventilation hole so that's one thing that you might need to take note of when you're going to um, buy these sh buy these shoes so yun naman uh, basically good um, good kind of materials and then yung sa tang pala natin hindi siya booty it's yung meron lang siya yung parang garter dito sa may side na to to hold the tongue in so okay naman well padded din sa heels natin and uh, very good uh, very good kind of uh, shoe overall uh, especially for the price point okay last last and not the least uh, yung fit and support natin um, fitting is a little bit tricky uh, as you guys have uh, seen in my previous videos I'm usually a size 11 and I was actually able to go down half as uh, not half a size a full size dito sa um, pair of shoes na to and kicks na to um, Street, sabi nga ng karamihan, tricky ang sizing natin with our uh, Chinese brands and uh, I actually had the same experience. Um, size, this is actually a US size 10. If you can see there, a US size 10. Um, pero it fits me very well. Actually, may konting space pa nga siya sa my toe. So, um, if you plan to purchase these uh, kicks dahil nga low pa siya, um, you might want to try them on to see if it provides you with the support that you need. Um, support features naman, meron tayong uh, outrigger dito which would support uh, you from tipping over ng paganon. Uh, and then of course we also have an internal heel counter which will, uh, which will assist you para hindi mag-slide yung paa mo off yung footbed nung, um, uh, nung sole natin. And then of course uh, traditional lacing system which actually feels good na pag nakatali na siya hindi hindi siya masyadong hindi naman ako nagkaroon ng uh, heel slippage dito sa kicks na to so basically it has the base um, the support feature features na kailangan para sa isang basketball shoe and yeah i would recommend it uh, to um, people who are looking for ample support kahit na low cut ang type ng shoe so Yon, uh, I just really have to say na you need to try these guys on to see kung siya talaga yung fit nyo. Um, I, I, as I said kanina, medyo pwedeng iba-ibang klase yung experience natin and iba-iba uh, yung types of um, way para mag-fit itong uh, shoes na to sa inyo. Okay, so that's our review for the Anta Outdoor Basketball Shoes. Um, well, yun yung nakalagay dito sa box niya. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, I was able to get this at SM for a very uh, department store for a very reasonable price because it's sale siya. It usually retails at 4,695 pesos, but uh, due to a sale, it's 20% off and points. Ko. So I was able to get it at somewhere around 2,500 pesos. So if you want to check them out, uh, yun lang yung alam kong place kung saan siya pwedeng lihin. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a good, affordable uh, outdoor shoe, uh, I would recommend these kicks for you. So there you have it guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, Kicksmoto, and visit our website, kicksmoto.com. And also you can visit us on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, don't forget to leave a shout out uh, if you played in these or if you want to check them out. And then um, I'll be uh, I'll, I'll be doing some more um, testing on these to see kung lalagot pa siya dano. Pero as of now, medyo mamatigas siya for me, especially when you use it on a cement cord. So, there you have it guys. Thank you and peace out.